everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, we're going to take a look at a gorgeous 1969 Dodge Coronet. This is a Hemi Super B clone. Beautiful car, guys. It's got a documented frame off or, or um, yeah, frame up, whatever you want to call it, restoration beautiful car we bought it actually locally from a gentleman um, sorry we'll let some of this traffic go by you see it's got a uh, it's got a real pretty color combination it's a turquoise metallic it's got the white tail stripe the white vinyl top all uh, it's got all new white vinyl interior gorgeous car I actually bought this car a little over a month ago guys literally within a couple of miles this thing's got a 472 580 horse Hemi in it it dropped a valve on us that's the frustrating thing about classic cars they don't they can't tell you when something's wrong and unfortunately you know we we, we literally were doing the uh, the initial road test to kind of check it out and uh, it dropped a valve on us so Cannot thank Dave Dudek enough. A uh, good friend of ours, Mike Bel Belkart, got us in with Dave immediately. Uh, a lot of people in this area know uh, um, uh, Dave. Fantastic Hemi guy. He rebuilt this Hemi motor for us. $9,500 later, which I probably shouldn't even have said that because I guarantee you nobody else can get it done for that. Um, and it's ready to go. But beautiful car. Like I say, fresh 472 Hemi. Not much you can really pick at, guys. It's a gorgeous car. I actually bought it right at a car show. I should say we kind of seen it at the car show. Um, ended up talking with the gentleman later and ended up buying it. But great car. It's a little bit of a pro touring car. It's got a Kessler 5-speed. Uh, it's got four-wheel disc brakes. Dana rear end. Pretty, pretty car, man. I love the color combination. I, I changed the wheels and tires. It's got brand new uh, BF Goodrich Radio TAs with the Magnum 500s. I just didn't like the wheels that the guy had on it. But gorgeous car. Drives excellent. Like I said, it's got a Kessler 5-speed five, uh, five in it with a uh, Dana 410 Sure Grip rear end. Sorry guys, there's a little bit of water blotches on it. Car's nice and straight down the sides. Again, brand new rubber, brand new wheels, chrome's nice. Pretty, pretty car, man. Again, four-wheel disc brakes. And now it's, it, well, I think it's got uh, six, six or seven miles on it. Brand new, fresh, built, 472 cubic inch, 580 horse. Hemi engine, uh, it's 9.9 .9 to 1 piston, so it runs on pump gas. Um, it's got a custom cam in it. Again, it's got all the March aluminum pulleys and brackets. Full wheel disc brakes, does have power steering on a Hemi, you don't see that much. And like Dave said, somebody's, he, and he did, the guy who built this car spent a ton of money on this car. Be cool aluminum radiator with electric fan. It's got front and rear sway bars. nice this is a pretty car man this car's got a great look to it again this is a great body style I love the turquoise with the white
bucket seat. It's got a Grant tilt steering wheel in it. Uh, it's got the uh, Hurst shifter. Just turned 80,000 on it as we were driving it. Factory dash. It's got a, a Stuart Warner tack in it and gauges. Factory AM, uh, AM radio. Uh, again, four wheel disc brakes. It's got uh, three inch dual exhaust with, um, uh, sorry guys, little water droplets on You guys are wiping it off. Um, three inch dual exhaust with, uh, it's got the electric dumps. This is everything, guys. This is uh, picture. This is uh, stuff when he uh, uh, some pictures of the restoration. Here's uh, the receipt from Dudek I just paid. Original owner's manuals. Uh, um, window. I think the window stickers in here. There's your original North Carolina title. Uh, original broadcast sheet. Uh, they've removed the uh, or put the um, uh, battery in the trunk. Uh, jack with spare. It's all spackle coated. It's body color in here. Like it should be. All the receipts for the, uh, I think some of the receipts for the original restoration are done. Like I said, there is a receipt in there, uh, for Dudek on the motor. There's your Dana rear sway bar. Bunch of new stuff coming to you guys. I know I've been really slow on getting stuff on, but the weather has just been killing us. Oh, there's your uh, Mallory uh, high fire ignition in it. It's a factory tack car. Like, see, they're running off the uh, the newer gauges. It's a gorgeous car, man. Uh, I think it was underneath the, the switch was underneath the seat for the electric dumps. Fuel gauge works. Tax functional. Uh, looks like they're using the gauge up here and down here, right? Yeah. You get the uh, there's a little handheld switch if I remember right underneath there. You just open the dumps. There's a power switch underneath the seat. Little switch you just pull out. Even though, yeah, even the backup lights work. No on the uh, blower. I don't even think they have the key to hooked up. Radio does power up and everything. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. It's out here. Yeah. Uh, parking brake, Jay? Yeah. Parking brake does work, guys. Just talking about the antennas out here. Uh, no on the wipers. We're going to have to check the wipers. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Facebook page. Or as always, pick up the phone, give us a call, 248 620 3355. Ah, some little splashes on the bottom of that. That's just some, probably when we come around the corner, guys, just little splashes on the bottom.
sun's in the way. Have a great day, guys.